I'm Barb Lutz, Director of Business Development at Visiting Angels in Littleton, Colorado. Thank you for joining me. It's Sunday, May 31st, and today is really special because we are doing a tribute to our graduates this year. All of you from kindergarten to your doctorate program, from Visiting Angels, we say congratulations. We're proud of you and so excited for your future. Here's a tribute to you. And before that, I just want to read a quote. I hope your dreams take you to the corners of your smiles, to the highest of your hopes, to the windows of your opportunities, and to the most special places that your heart has ever known. Congratulations and good luck. Hi, Declan. Congratulations on graduating high school, especially this year with all of the COVID-19 challenges, you persevered, you did it. And I'm so looking forward to you being successful in college. I love you, buddy. Congratulations. Hi, Declan. So sorry the senior year didn't end the way you were hoping. You missed a lot of cool milestones, but the good news is you have a ton more in the future and we're so looking forward to seeing them. You have brought so much joy to our lives. You are loving and kind and a loyal friend. And the best part is that you are so much fun and bring laughter and joy to everybody. Congratulations, you make us so proud. Now on to better, bigger and better things. Yay, Addie, congratulations on moving forward to the first grade. We love you. Hello, my name is Angela and I am a case manager here at Visiting Angels. And I have a shout out for my two daughters. Um, my daughter Megan is graduating from fifth grade and stepping up to junior high. And I know she was bummed because there's no moving on ceremony this year, but she is so resilient. Um, we just, we think the world of you. You are the most kind person we have ever seen. You're always taking time to care for others. So we know that you'll come out of this great and we can't wait to see the great things you do in junior high. And I also have a graduating senior, Alana, and with no prom, no graduation, no um, uh, senior breakfast, no you know goodbyes really to friends. And I know it's heartbreaking for you, but two, you are just, you have the most brilliant mind, and we know you're going to do great things. Um, she's going to go to Colorado School of Mines um, next fall, chemical engineering, and we know you have just a great bright future ahead. So we, me and your dad, love you both, and we just want to say how proud we are of you. Love you. Hi, it's John and Melissa, and we're here to shout out to our daughter, Katie. Who's Yay, we're so proud of you, Katie. She's a 2020 graduate, and she is going to be going to California to go to college. And study nursing, so we're really proud of her. Very compassionate heart. So congratulations, Katie, in this year of quarantine. You've done an amazing job, and we're so proud of you, and we love you so much. Hi, I'm Athena McCullough, and I am graduating from Denver Seminary with a master's in clinical mental health counseling, and this summer I'm starting my own private practice. I'm Jennifer, and this is my son, Mark, and he just graduated from the School of Mines in Electrical Engineering. And I'm super proud of him, uh, mostly because in school he learned how to not just study, but also have fun and make great friends. He got to do interesting things like walking up Lookout Mountain, lugging a huge rock so that he could add it to the big M you see on the side of the mountain. Then he also got to drag an ore cart for seven and a half miles along Colfax. So that may not sound like what would make you be a smart engineer, but it made him well-rounded and I'm really glad that's what he did. And he is going to be fabulous uh, as an engineer and a human being. He started a job yesterday, but because of COVID, it was in his apartment at a laptop. Hi, we are Megan and Dan Kopeck, and we just wanted to acknowledge our son, Ethan Kopeck. Ethan just graduated from Chatfield High School, and he will be attending Benedictine College outside of Kansas City. That's Ethan. So Ethan closed out his high school years as salutatorian. Uh, he excelled academically. Uh, we're quite proud of him for these accomplishments. Uh, however, we're most proud of his strong character. He's very kind, hardworking. He has integrity to spare, uh, working always to say and do the right thing. Ethan has a strong drive to do more, and we're very confident that he will be exceptional at Benedictine College. 
Hi, my name is Corey Dahlstrom. Uh, I just graduated from Bethel University with a degree in business and political science and Spanish. Um, and then I am, some of my plans for the future uh, include looking at jobs uh, in the state uh, for the city of St. Paul or even some federal positions as well uh, within the government or even some nonprofit organizations. Um, and then the coronavirus has impacted uh, my educational career uh, significantly in the last uh, couple months. It's not something that I ever thought would happen, but, um, and I definitely learned that online learning is not really for me, but we got through it and I'm graduated. So uh, that's what's important, everyone's healthy, so. And I'm Brenda Dahlstrom, I'm Corey's mom, and I'm very proud of Corey for going through four years of college at Bethel University and we're excited to see what he has um, for his future. I'm Bruce Dahlstrom, Corey's dad, and uh, we are super proud of him. It's been a long journey, and that uh, he succeeded, and we're just excited to see what the future holds for him. Hi, my name is Patrice Hettinger, and my senior is Brendan Hettinger, graduating from Chatfield Senior High School as a class of 2020. Congratulations, Brendan, you did it, and congratulations to all the graduates of the class of 2020. Here's a picture of Brendan. Here's a big shout out to Chatfield Senior High School. Brendan's gonna start at Pikes Peak Community College in the fall with a major in zookeeping technology. So really excited for him. Super proud of all of his accomplishments and including uh, achieving his Eagle Scout Award, all of his hard work and his um, endless volunteer hours at the Denver Zoo taking care of animals and his conservation work in Costa Rica. Congratulations. My quick piece of advice to the graduating class of 2020 is to think about time. As we've seen recently, time doesn't stop. Time keeps going. Some days we have a lot of time, some days we don't have much time at all. Uh, but just keep in mind that time keeps going and we can't control it. So enjoy your time, your graduation time, your time in college, your time in whatever activities you do next, um, and embrace time because it doesn't stop. Thanks again and cheers to the class of 2020.